Thinking that you can grow your business by focusing on being a social influencer is actually slowing down your growth and you might not even realize it. You see a ton of so-called influencers are parading their likes and subscribers and thumbs up as a badge of honor as if it represents their status as a market leader. Look, as you know, market leaders have thriving businesses. They've learned by leading the way they can have people want to work with them and they don't have to chase people down. For example, look at people like Brendan Richard, Sheryl Sandberg, Elon Musk, and the late Steve Jobs. They aren't hunting down anyone or sales. It's the opposite. People want them. They aren't influencers. They are thought leaders changing the space, creating their own space. But then when you look at influencers who have tons of subscribers, put a bunch of videos and content out yet are struggling to pay their bills. In fact, if you have a following right now, you may not be seeing the results you want either. Bottom line is that the number of likes, subscribers, and thumbs up have nothing to do with your success as a thought leader and market leader. And I get it. It's easy to fall into the trap because you see gurus telling you that you need a following to bring in sales, but what they don't tell you is that likes or subscribers is not a following. In fact, you yourself have probably liked something on Facebook in the last 48 hours from someone you don't follow and chances are you're subscribed to someone on YouTube who you would never buy from. Here's the deal. If you're looking to be a thought leader and market leader, focusing on vanity metrics will not get you there. The key to your success is focusing on results metrics instead. Think about it this way. Thought leaders get new results and have an impact by changing the game, setting new ways of thinking and delivering results to those they serve. They do this by focusing on their knowledge, their expertise and their thought leadership first. They build distinction into their content by packaging it into unique signature frameworks and proprietary processes that get consistent results and solve problems for those they serve. They're able to create their own space, much like Steve Jobs did with Apple and Elon Musk did with cars. This means that you being a thought leader and market leader is directly related to your ability to create compelling content and not vanity metrics. It means shining in your own distinct brilliance so you stand out as the market leader and thought leader you are and to create your own space with that brilliance. It means you need to focus on impact first and income second. It means that your likes, subscribers, and thumbs up only matter when they are creating your market and thought leader presence. Anything else is simply window dressing. So you get to make a choice. Continue following the wrong way thinking of building a meaningless social presence and struggle to get truly seen as the thought leader and market leader you are, or you can focus on results metrics by creating compelling content that makes you stand out and is strategically curated to be high impact and highlight your distinction and results. Take a look at some of the top market leaders and thought leaders today like Simon Sinek, Seth Godin, Sheryl Sandberg, or Sarah Blakely. What do they have in common? They approach things in a unique way. They took a stand and they made a difference and they're having an impact in their industry by being leaders. Now it's your turn to join them. What choice are you going to make?